right, we are in early warning weather alert mode as in just about 24 hours from now, looking for some flakes to start flying. And this will not be all snow from beginning to end, thanks to the track of the storm pulling in some milder air off the Atlantic Ocean. We'll break it down for you in just a moment. Right now, in the meantime, dry, a beautiful evening underway. Temperatures dropping to the upper 30s in the Litchfield Hills. We're still in the low and mid 40s elsewhere inland from 45 to 50 currently along the 95 corridor. So our eye can view from Hartford where we've got 45. Just some scattered clouds remain after a fairly cloudy day. Those clouds took a little more time to erode, but temperatures did rally late, getting close to, say, 45 to 50 in many spots. Waterbury right now at 43 degrees. You see the QR code there in the bottom left hand part of your screen. Of course, uh, scan that uh, and you can get to, to our WFSB weather app. Download that to stay up to date on the very latest with regard to anything weather wise here in Connecticut. A beautiful evening underway looking live from Mystic. So you can see the cloud cover moving out over the past several hours. Our sky remains mainly clear tonight. We'll start the day tomorrow on a dry, uh, bright note, but we're tracking the storm system. You can see this counterclockwise spin uh, moving out of the southern Rockies into Oklahoma and Texas. There's a severe weather threat through uh, Texas and Oklahoma this evening. Severe thunderstorm watches, tornado watches in effect. We're not expecting severe weather, but wintry precip as the storm system heads up in our direction. So before it arrives tomorrow, forecasting highs in the upper 30s in the Northwest Hills, low 40s elsewhere inland, 43, 44 along the 95 corridor. So uh, temperatures near normal for this time of year. It's after the evening commute, the precip uh, chances will be increasing. So for our Friday, we're going to start off with high pressure briefly in control that's going to allow chillier air to move in our direction so tomorrow not as mild as today and despite the bright uh, dry start cloud cover increases as the day moves forward so that area of low pressure that storm system that's currently moving into the southern plains it takes a track across the eastern great lakes a second area of low pressure develops off the uh, coast of the delmarva peninsula and it's this area of low pressure where it develops and how it tracks that will dictate what type of precip we'll have here in Connecticut. Uh, so given how close it's tracking, say, for instance, to Long Island and perhaps even over uh, the Cape and Islands, that means for us we're going to see that mixed bag of precip. If we go farther south, that would mean for us more snow. Unfortunately, that looks like an unlikely scenario. So uh, with that ocean flow as well, transitioning that uh, snow over to the mix, wintry icy mix, it's going to reduce snow totals as well. The storm system pulls away on Saturday, so any lingering showers early Saturday morning could switch over over to a few flakes, some snow showers before all is said and done. So this is our forecast map for snow and sleet. The combined totals here, two to four inches in the hills of northwest and northeast Connecticut, an inch or two elsewhere inland, including the greater Hartford area. The shoreline, the 95 quarter, according to a slushy inch there. Uh, so here's a look as well at potential icing atop the snow and the sleet. This is tomorrow night into early Saturday morning. We could see uh, the accumulation of ice northwest, northeast Connecticut. So if there's any silver lining, we'll have that base of snow snow, so it makes it uh, less of a concern compared if this was falling directly onto, say, for instance, our roads and pavement. Uh, so our winter storm watch uh, up just to our north. No watches with regard to winter precip here in southern New England, specific to Connecticut uh, as of now. That could change as we go into the day tomorrow. We also have coastal flood advisories, coastal flood watches up for the entire shoreline. Tomorrow night, the wind becomes strong, 30, 40 miles an hour out of the east. That will pile water into the sound in tandem with the upcoming high tide cycle. Saturday morning could lead to some minor coastal flooding concerns. So uh, on Saturday, an abundance of clouds. We may be lucky and see a few rays of sun before the sun sets on Saturday, but otherwise temps in the mid and upper 30s. Uh, those showers taper as the day progresses. Again, could end as a little light snow. Sunday dry, the better of the two weekend days, 40 to 45 under a mix of sun and clouds. Monday back close to the 50 degree mark. We've got some showers in the early warning forecast for next Tuesday uh, with temperatures trending a little bit cooler. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday highs between 40 and 45. Okay, Mark, thank you very much.